Okay, now I'll teach you how to set to print from the RIP software. Before we print, we need to set the RIP software. We need to go to the file and first unit we can set by centimeter and we go to print left right guidelines we must click on both of this click on and apply ok and then we go to you can choose the language you want and this one you can click on and off according to your usage and then we go to then we need to load a picture to the software we find any picture we can pull the picture direct to the software we can set the template for example we must the picture all the picture must be start from x file and y by 2 centimeter because we need to minus we need to remove the, the sides of the UV light because this position cannot be cured so we need to minus the sides for the UV light so we must minus by x5 and y2 and click and the width is by because the printing size is 33 is 33 for the width so 33 times minus 5 is 228 and the height is 15 uh, 50, is, is 50 minus 2 is 46 and we save the template so this the printing size for the table we apply and OK so we must print a picture inside of this area we cannot move the picture out of this position all the picture must be printed out from this position inside of this square the red color square it means the size must be bigger than I guess 5 and y2 centimeter after that we can adjust the printing size you want and then we go to set the printing output position output function first we go to layout and we choose the width by 32, 33 centimeter times 50 centimeter, and this original size cannot be changed. And this is output position must be bigger than five, and y bigger than two centimeter. And the output position, output size is the printing size you want. Because for example, I want to print with 10 centimeter for the width. It will automatically to change the height, and if you change by force, here you can change the position you want. But this, so the picture is changed. For example, I change it by two. Automatic change. So this is the copies. For example, I want to print two copies for X. Uh, this is not this change by zero keep it as default and this is the repeat for example I want to print by two piece on X it's too big so we need to change the X spacing by for example two for each or five seven for each that's too small it's, it's, re it's recovered so we change it by 15 like this and this one is 20 for each and for example this one we can 
the Y we need to put two pieces. You can put like this. So this the set the copies. And the pattern is normal. And we set the printer. First, this one we must choose by Epson slash photo 1390 and 1440, this model. And USB port, we must choose the port we installed where online. We choose this one. Uh, we choose the, um, sorry, we choose this one. We just installed this one. If you are not sure, you can go to the driver center to find out which which port you installed. And this one is the printer resolution you want. Normally we choose 1440 times 720 DPI. And we must keep the white and the color with the same with the same DPI model. And image type we can choose by photography for high quality. And this way we must show, choose by Shit cannot choose by low fit, and the speed we choose by unit direction because the bad direction is printed more fast, faster speed, but the high, but the lower resolution. So if you want to print with high resolution, you need to choose unit direction. And the dot size we choose by small dot that small dot size for color and the white ink dot size by same dot size. Then we go to the color. The color we need to first one. This one we must choose. If you put white ink on the machine, we need to choose this model: the white ink, the yellow, black, white, white, magenta, and cyan. And ink limit we need to first before we change the ink limit, we need to choose the ICC profile. We find our profile and we find out the volcano jet hot UV ink 1440 times 720 dpi and 100% ink limit. This profile, and then okay, because this show is 100% ink limit, so after we click, we need to put by 100% ink limit. If you think the color is too dark, you can reduce the ink limit and the white ink is 100%. If you think the white ink is, is too much, you can reduce the white ink limit, limit. After that, we can go to white. And this is the print white ink printing model method. Normally, we are choosing by 100 white and any color. Pixel, and this is for gradient for grayscale printing. Normally we choose this one, and this one no touch, and you can see this the printing result. This is the white ink printing result. This is the color printing result review. And this one we must click all on, click on for all of them. And this the decrease the the pixel for the picture. We can we can click by five for square. If you click put by this number, it means the white ink square, the edge will be short, will be smaller than the color edge to prevent pre prevent the white ink print overlap problem. This is the edge size. For the white ink print. After that, we can start print. We go to print, and before we print, we need to be sure the size. For example, I want to print a picture on the phone case, so we need to first move the fabric out 
and we put the, the light here and we down first we must put down the flat bed and we moved the flat bed move the light on the sensor position must be on this sensor position then we click up with the automatic stop and adjust a little bit down then we click back set then we go to computer and print here we must be pay attention to that we must for example I want to print white ink first so we need to click white ink one copies and color ink zero zero means off one means on so we set copies one and start print so this is the way we, the machine start to print white ink first then machine start print we must click, we must uh, power on the UV light button. So it's that print. So the machine start the wet ink first, print the wet ink first. Please pay attention to the to per, to to the gap between the print media and print head. We must keep it within three to five millimeter. Uh, within three to five millimeter. At the print, the wet ink. We can start to print the color ink on the top of the white ink.